So I have to hold it. She's going to beat their ass. Especially since she's got a stick with her today. All you need to do is plug in any appliance, such as a kettle, and when Mum turns the kettle on to make a cuppa, just like this, which basically says, "Hi, I'm okay today." So that's Good. three rings. Now we can spy on her. Much. I love building technology companies. Have you done it before? Yes. Yeah. Have you heard of Snapchat? I've taken. Uh... This could actually be useful in case, like, your grandmother so gets revived by accident. You could put this in her coffin. Position than I am to help you. And if you get a notification, you know Grandma's back, baby. But Tuka Suniman has a quite different concern. I hate the box. The box doesn't feel good. Can we make it out of glass? You have no. If Mum isn't okay, at two in the morning at three in the morning, at four in the morning, and all the way to the time where mum goes to boil that kettle. This hasn't helped you deal with the problem that mum isn't okay. Jesus Christ, Peter. <laughs> it's like he's threatening him. Response. Do you know where your mother is right An now? Immediate call to action. Your I've hired a group of assassins. That. She's held at gunpoint, Peter. You didn't know that, did you? It's because your device but only works once a day. When we looked at what You don't know what that is, Tuco? It's a chicken. Hi, I'm Rob Shaw. <laughs> what is that strange in? little boy he's holding in his arm? Oh, very We're weird. For the so he's selling prepackaged hard boiled eggs. I'll make you an offer. I'll give you what you're asking for if you wipe your nose. It's still running. This calendar year, we're projecting. So you want me to look ahead to three years' time? Yes, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah. Hopefully, eggs aren't extinct by then. What I don't understand. Did he forget his chicken? The chicken goes in there and pitches like a multi-million dollar idea to him. Peter's inside knowledge shuts their do-it-yourself operation down. Oh, thanks, Peter. It ruined some high schoolers' business plans. Nice. In Shark Tank Australia, they invest in everything. They fucking invested in, doddle, uh, in doggy piddle pads. Or doggy pee-pee grass. Like grass you put in your house for your dog to take a piss on. And here on Dragon's Den, it's cutthroat. Shark Tank, they're just giving away money. Very interesting. What else we got? Peter gets into a fight with an eccentric inventor. It better be a fucking fist fight. I want to see Peter throwing meat. Good afternoon, Dragons. Today I'm selling myself. Please. I will work any hours you give me. And honestly, I'm just lonely. So. Hello, I'm Jack. We can start bidding. Tricks. You lay out nine cards, huh. and one player thinks of a clue to describe three. So if I said here, for example, spaghetti, can you find the one card of each colour that I'm describing? I give Italy, up. eat, cook. Perfect. That's the essence of the game. Did I just win? You did. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so out. The I game was too easy. I wanted a Dark I Souls game. 4,000 copies so far. No advertising. That's no a really boring whatsoever. game. <laughs> Um, I can't wait. This I can't wait for the excitement to set in. Hands out his product. <clears throat> Come sock. And offers Eat, to hand play, over 20% sport. Of his word game business Cough. in return Lost. for 50,000. One player thinks of a clue. Two go can't read. Players try and guess. So there I could say treasure. Pirate find island. Perfect. Did Very I win good. again? You won again. Yes. Jesus, Deborah, That's you're too good. She's going esports pro. Impart some words of dragon wisdom. I hate this game. <laughs> it flips his board over. Okay. I quit. Well, I think that you'd get bored very quickly of, of middle-aged men. Uh, what I'm saying, don't it, get it. Yeah, it's too. It's too tough. I think that's an absolute load of nonsense. Okay, well, how about this? You play me no, in the game. You win. You can be just, out. Well, it is because if you lose, I've been doing this for three years. I get your business. I've been for three years. And all you've of them. sold four thousand games. Yes, because it's. But it, this is not so much of a pitch. It's like an argument you'd have down the pub. <laughs> I'm trying to answer the questions. I'm saying what I honestly think and what I, what I've found from my three years doing it. Oh, he's getting aggressive. But the thing is, that you spent. Three he's tired years of Deborah beating his ass. Okay, that, that's, I don't want to go on the journey. Can I finish, Jack? No, I don't want you to finish the story. Sorry. And I'm sorry to be really candid and rude, but it's, I think we've got off on the wrong foot. Jack was telling a whole story there. A rare event in the den. My father left As me out Peter in the rain. Calls it was cold. After a All I had was the word spaghetti the and three things on my mind. 
So I created a board game, Peter, a board game. The question battle. You've got to call it something that relates to the game itself. Maybe people find it hmm. hard to engage with. Well, they don't know what it is. And you've got to tell them what they're about to play. IQ test. Oh, Deborah STD Meadon testing kit. Another damning we could really fool of them. The word game's name. So I get the advance up front for that, which was about three thousand dollars. God, this guy and really got fucked. The company that you've done it with, are they like the same business for that ten years this to be able to pay the money? Or well, I've, who have I've you done obviously, it with? Obviously, I'm not going to name names of my partners at this stage. I think that's sort of unfair to talk about them. Dude, this guy well, fell no, for the no, free armor fair, trimming you scam. Are here, asking for investment in your business. Good lord. Right? Yes, I am. But I'm looking at the bigger picture. Well, I'm looking at the real picture. Ooh. And what you're telling Get me philosophized. The Twelve months is that it hasn't sold. Yeah, that well, doesn't bode well for an investor like me. Settle this in a game of tricks again, like real men. Handed over the having me as an investor alongside because we'd be pulling in different directions. So God, I'm it. sorry, Jack, but I won't be investing. Also, I'm out, Jack. I just spilled water on myself, and now I'm upset. So you I'm in no condition to, to invest in the business. Points? No. I hate when that Concentrate happens. Concentrate on your potential. Jack, you've been given feedback on on the product. The least you should do is take it on board. I mean, uh, let's change the name right now. Let's Jack, call if it. If I invested in you, I'd have to be there every day trying to help. Yeah, you I can't think of a single fucking name for this game. And boring. It took too much of my That's time. That's all I keep coming back to. So I'm selling a box no of tricks, boring. No games. Doesn't say what it does on the tin. I don't actually like playing it. And looking inside the box with the contents, I think it's too small. I just don't like it. I can't invest in that. So I'm going to say that I'm out. Are we ever going to see them invest in a single fucking thing? Good luck, Jack. Good luck, Thank Jack. Good luck. Have fun, Peter Jack. Jones has the final. Hi, I'm Craig, inventor of the foam aroma lid. In 2007, so all they did was make bigger holes. Very first cappuccino. It's genius. Open ceramic yes. Cup. It was an amazing. Ex the very first version of foam aroma was this. I like that version better. And then four years after this, I had prototypes. Which it took I four in years to poke holes. <laughs> and that's where I met Tom. <laughs> Since 2013, I couldn't quite figure out how to company, penetrate. I have sold and a half but then Eureka came to us one day. Of those lids what if we use something sharp? 12 months 